So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges, Eververse and 801 in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Great Sword Logic. Defeat bosses and mini bosses anywhere in the system. Earn bonus progress by defeating headless ones in on detectors during Festival of the Lost. Not hard. Honestly, I would just do this in Festival of the Lost that way. Considering usually you're going to get, obviously it says right here, bonus progress by defeating headless ones. So I'd probably just do that instead. Hive Eradicator, defeat Hive anywhere in the system, earn bonus progress by defeating Hive in Season of the Witch activities or in Haunted Sectors during Festival of the Lost. Again, just do it in Festival of the Lost. If you don't have access to it because you're watching this in a future video or a future time, then just literally do, just kill kill stuff in Hive. It's not that hard. Uh, mean in Green, get final blows with Strand weapons or abilities in the Crucible. Not hard. I would probably use a, like a combination of Strand weapons and a Strand subclass, so that way I can double up on that. Uh, throne World activities. In the Throne World, complete bounties and earn progress by completing patrols, public events, and, lo and looting lost sectors. Yeah, just do stuff in Throne World. Not hard. Uh, bring a sword. Get final blows with swords. Earn bonus progress in Haunted Sectors. Again, this one just uses sword. You can literally combine it with any of these, but just use a sword. In Haunted Lost Sectors, I mean, you can use it as well. You get bonus progress, but yeah. Primary School, get final blows with primary ammo in Ritual Activities, earn bonus progress for submachine gun, bow, and scout rifle final blows, or by defeating guardians. So I would most likely be using an SMG, a bow, and a scout rifle. Probably, I'll, I'll show you the loadout in a bit, but that's probably what I would do. A scout rifle in this in the primary slot, submachine gun in the secondary slot, or you can switch them over and then use a Leviathan's breath for uh for the bow. That's probably what I would do if I was really trying to double up. Also, I probably should tell you guys this is the last week, at least usually we only have 10 weeks of uh challenges. So these are the challenges you're gonna have to complete if you are interested in getting the seasonal bundle, which is the high focus hocus focus which is usually, I think, 6,000 Bright Dust. It is quite a bit, so I definitely would recommend it because 6,000 Bright Dust gets you um, an armor set from Eververse. So I would definitely recommend it because obviously you guys will see right here, 6,000. I would definitely say to do it just because 6,000 is a lot. And when I complete it, I'll be able to get two pieces of armor. So that's going to be useful, especially since I'm going to be saving this for Christmas. But for Eververse, we're going to be looking at Reanimated Verve, which I'm not the biggest fan of this shader. So here is Reanimated Verve. I am definitely not the biggest fan of this shader. Um, I definitely get the inspiration. Definitely looks like zombie-ish just because the colors are very faded, but I'm still not the biggest fan of it. We have Angel's Gleam, which what even is this, bro? Like there's just so many things happening. It's probably like a toy soldier type thing, maybe, or like just a toy in general. So I'm going to get it just because you might never know when it's cool. We have reanimated entrance. Uh, retrograde Torer, which is the Scooby-Doo van one, which I the mystery van. Eh, pretty cool. We have the Lunar Roar. With the wolf uh, ornament that the hunters got, it, it would look pretty cool. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Promethean Prelude, which... I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be fair. Like, eh, very much meh for, to me. Uh, Steegy and Steed, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It looks cool, but I just wouldn't buy it for whatever bright dust it is, like 3000 It's expensive. Uh, 2000 uh, I still wouldn't do it. Extraterrestrial Vehicle, which, yeah, I know some people want this. And then one of my clanmates wants this. Uh, or got it, I think. Spinneret Shell. looks pretty cool uh no escape we have board summoner which is just pumpkins and then batwing entrance again from last week we have the reanimate entrance again arc arachnophile arachnophile sorry These are just spiders we have Nougat Delight. I definitely think you should pick this shader up. It is really, really cool. I love the off-white color of this main color, but I also love the green. I think the green is amazing. This is definitely a shader I've been using a lot more in previous armor set videos. Uh, Chrome Stock is the other shader we're getting. This is an old shader. This is from Season of the Drifter, so this is old if you want to pick it up. Um, I fucking hate this shader. Like, 
it actually looks really cool with a lot of the pieces that I have on currently, but I don't like this color right here. It's like a, like a purple brown and I'm not the biggest fan of that. And then base basalt toxic, which wow. wow whoa, this is the blue for, okay. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Wow. Um, good to know. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty much it for Everest. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Ada, I had to go to the corner because my shaders was just not working. We're going to be looking at new age black armory, bro. This shader is such a dub of a shader. Definitely pick this shader up. It's really, really good. Oh my God. I love this shader. This is like one of my favorite shaders. We have Arctic dreamscape, which I definitely like the shader a lot. It's definitely grown on me though. I used to not like it, but I love the tactical color of it. Like the, the design of it. You definitely should pick it up if you're going for like a snow, like a tactical snow soldier. And then new monarchy allegiance, which is trash. This is the orange one. Yeah, this is the orange one. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Um, you just look like, um, like a big orange with, with some red on, it looks terrible. And then for the armor sets, I'm not going to have them up because they're not armor sets. They're pieces of armor from forsaken. Um, I know it says right here, season of the hunt, but that's because they got reintroduced in season of the hunt, if I remember correctly. So I will have most likely at least the armor pieces from like the scorn stuff and the art, the helmets. Cause I do know the hunters, Titans and warlocks have different pieces of that, but the cloaks and all that probably memory of Cade. But again, it's just, honestly, I'd rather just do this. Um, just show you here because I'd rather not do like get the footage for that because she rarely like sells those pieces alone. So here's the memory of Cade cloak, which might as well show you. which I think is cool. I mean, it's going to be a reskin of the IO cloak. So just be aware of that. The scorn Baron vest actually looks pretty cool. I do like this vest quite a bit, especially if you're going for a, um, whatever the fuck they're called, the elixir that followed this dude. Um, if you go for a scorned look, there we go. That's what it's fucking called. Uh, these, if you go for a scorned look, it definitely, you can definitely look like really cool. And then Nia Thonis breather, which I think looks Fucking terrible, absolute trash bag. You can never tell me that this looks cool um, because I won't believe you. And then for the Titans, it's going to be the Toro Bottle Celebration Mask. Really? Toro Bottle? Okay. Which looks cool. It definitely looks cool. But like I, for me, it just kind of reminds me of like Black Panther, which is I was like, eh, it's fine. Uh, we have. Okay, cool. I love it when you reset like that. We have the Scorn Baron plate, which again, Titans, I think have the better Scorn pieces because they have two arms that are Scorn themed and they're completely different. So definitely if you want to go for a Scorn look, you're going to want to go for the Titans. And then for the Memory of Cade mark, I love this mark. This is one of my favorite marks if I'm going for a casual Titan because it's the closest I'm going to get to just a belt. But I also like the fact that it's like just on the side. I think this is one of the better ones. And then for the Warlocks, I think theirs was not that great if I remember correctly. Yeah, that helmet is terrible. The Elemon Tin Ritual Mask, absolute trash bag. You look weird as hell. Not the biggest fan of it. Um, ooh, though, yo, you, no, I, as I say that, these Scorn Baron robes, easily the best robes in the game for me. They just look so cool. Oh, man, some of the sets that I've made with this chess piece alone have been such bangers. And then the bond is definitely disappointing in my opinion. So I know this one's longer than most, but I didn't want to like literally make the, how I usually do them for the armor sets just because uh, it's too much. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you. Other than that, be safe. I'll see you.